Well, poop deckers, I hate to inform you, but my video was cut. For some reason, the beginning of the video was cut. I don't know why in hell it was cut, but fuck that. So we're going to record everything else. So here we go, poop deckers. I think I improved the graphics a little bit. I hope I did. Huh. So anyways, we are going to continue. But as I was recording the first part, it was cut. I don't know why. It just said you can't record anymore. I deleted some footage. I have enough room. And we're going to record. So hopefully everything turns out well. Let's continue. Yep, yeah, I chopped off the guy's leg. I tried to save him, but now nah, the guy was fucked. But anyways, Poop Thickers, we're back with The Walking Dead, episode 2, Star for... Sh Fuck shut you. up. you. <laughs> Fucking Larry, he's like... Mm -hmm. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come on! What happened? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Wait, I, I don't know! Wait! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are uh. you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking He would no, I thought he would have could I want to know why you we left him. He would have died. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on. Yeah. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. That food is almost uh, gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. It's just a teen. Welcome to the family. You can call it a family. Oh. What? No, I... Uh, curly, curly, curly. You're not... This isn't your own personal dictatorship. <laughs> oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. You're not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to leave this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for. <laughs> Wait, how do you do that? that Let me try it. Decisions to protect his family. <clears throat> we <simply clears throat> I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls well, that than all didn't work. you Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah, go do that. Yeah, that's the thing I like about Lily. She's, she looks cute because they finally Dad, fixed her face from episode two when I played on the iPhone. Oh my god, she looked ugly. But she looks cute. She looks like a typical survivor. That's you get to meet her, and she's a bitch. She's like a freaking yeah. She's a. Oh, serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Puts it in his ass, or puts it in his pocket. So wait, you put a piece of apple in your pants, and it has hair all over it. Okay. He is first things first. Ben is not getting it. Lily's not getting it. You see, that's the thing about this. I don't know what person would not give the food to Clementine or Duck. That just seems so harsh. Who would not give food to Clementine? Oh. How are you doing for the time? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Do you really need it? <laughs> sure. When did you lose it? I had 
it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Claire. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. No, I don't want to. I don't. No, no. They're going to eat first. Like I said, anyone that doesn't feed Clementine and Duck are a bunch of little shits. Uh, crack and she, she's a kid. Uh, turkey. Nah, I don't think Clementine would like that. Mmm, half an apple. I feel like a girl would like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's sexist. I'm sorry. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Yeah. I prefer an orange. Um, Enjoy it. You deserve it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, shit, duck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, duck. I feel like he'd like turkey, but she's in crackers. You don't deserve jerky. Even though you are a jerk, key. <laughs> Horrible joke, I know. Move, move. Kelly, 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 Kelly. Want something to eat? You get jerky. No problem, ma. Uh... Wait, I'm Lee Everett. I can say the N word. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. For someone else, save it for yourself. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones who Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, I want to talk to you, Kenny. How you been? Words getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret. Probably our best bet. I'm well, you gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you to respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was able to find his friends. Uh, your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clint. The coast does sound like a smart idea. The coast does sound like a smart idea. The best thing. I know there is. I'm taking my family. <laughs> All right. Can I still talk to you? About the guy and Lily's right about. Thanks for buying the time to get that guy out of the bear trap back there. I can't believe they cut off his leg again. I don't know if I heard it. I didn't have a choice. It was that or the walkers. Or leave him. Let's hope things turn for the better. Soon. Now there's a statement I can get behind. <laughs> Candy, candy, candy. Come on, everyone. Candy, candy. Oh, okay, I'm done. Oh, shit. Lee ever looking like a badass. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. I am. It's definitely not you, you worthless cunt. I'm going to hell. I'm sorry, God. Will you okay. hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I didn't realize I was getting this weak. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pants. Pot convenient! Uh. Fuck it. Give it to Larry. Larry! Here, Larry. <sighs> fuck it. Would want you to keep it straight, that girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Sorry, Mark. Need any help with the wall? Oh, what the? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Mark, I don't know you. I know Larry, and I want to gain his trust, hey, so listen, Larry. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Go on this long Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Trusting Larry! Trusting Larry! I'm retarded.
the door is open so everyone can hear me. It was pretty easy. I just gave it to the kid. It's okay. I know you're still watching us for me. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. More than there's a ride in the RV. Still, I guess some people aren't going to have a choice. Actually, I think I'm pretty satisfied with my ch Why did you look at me like that? Ken, leave. Come here, please. I didn't give her the kacha because her hands are all bloody, so how you want me to feed it to her? Lost too much blood. Fuck. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. <laughs> was, that, was that the pipe? Let him go, Kaja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. He just threw the rent or the pipe, the lead pipe. Sorry. Why was he holding it in the first place? What about the other kid? Uh, we need it. Lily wants some gum. Oh sh! Oh crap! Crap! No! 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 You're not taking. Oh, get out of here, you! Oh, crap! What the? Whoa! 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 whoa. I'm doing it. Yes. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Shit. Oh, okay. okay. Get off. Back up. Back up. Huh? Wait. The back. Yep. No, you're not. Shoot it. Shoot the. Shoot the. Boom. That was like the funniest glitch I've ever seen. Oh, thank you, Carly. I love you. What? Protect him. I give you the axe. Calm down. Thank you. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. Because he wasn't bitten. Your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Yeah. God help us. It makes sense. First few days, it's been so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym. And That's the one thing I like about The Walking Dead. You never know how we're all infected. You can't be stepping in the air because it was like just wearing a gas mask or something. But. I forgot what these guys do. I forgot. I forgot. I think they play a major part, but I don't know for sure. Uh, we don't want any trouble. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Okay, so, uh... No deal, we'll just stay here. I mean, I know we go no matter what, so I'm just gonna say yeah. 
We'll bring some gas to your dairy. <laughs> the guy right there is just chilling. Some food to bring back. See how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Very interesting fact. So, this area, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk. I don't know what a cattle is. I don't grow up on a farm. Vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. I'm the only fat boy that likes vegetables. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge. Yeah, I agree. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure, everybody looks up to you. Oh, not everyone Thank you. thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Very close. Great, that can't be easy. Clementine was, he was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Ask me about it. <laughs> Couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Actually, I think it does matter if you want to get their trust. Even if it is going to hell, you should still tell them so they can... I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. No, just be... I hate to say that, but I literally just saw a movie the other day where a guy killed someone and... Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where you from? Ah, uh, I got right here in the heart of Jolly. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? Hmm. I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. How many people you got over there, anyway? Uh, I'm not just to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Mm. I don't trust that. Quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. Well, that's good to know. In summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. He literally sounds like he does not give two shits. He's like, uh huh, yeah, 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 whatever. All I remember is that they kill someone, but I don't remember exactly what they do. The best part of being autistic is you don't remember shit. I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. They don't take the crossbow or whatever he was holding. Here it is, St. John Family Deck. Y'all can see how he kept this place so safe. The fence keeps him out. <laughs> you betcha, they fry like bugs in a zap. We're pushing 4,000 bolts through that thing. Damn. I'm going to assume that's a lot. <laughs> Ever have any accidents? Uh, it's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow on good things. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. 
Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I've got things under control over there. Wait, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. <laughs> Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. They crashed this morning. Oh, damn. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Yeah, actually, it doesn't look that. It doesn't look like that much. It's just a few biscuits. will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow was sick. What she? We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about mm. y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner, a big feast for all you hungry souls. Hot, that makes me hungry just now thinking about a fucking feast. Around here again, Danny. Why don't you come help me out? In the hey, it's Danny, Daniel Daly. Oh wait. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take that along? Wait, she has a pistol. Why does she need that? I guess for Ben. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh-oh. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal. Maybe there's other things not working. I just can't see. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. Broken right. fence. Objective one! Objective! Objective back. Hop to the What does it need? What does this broken lava need? Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this. <coughs> Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How did it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat. Some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. <sighs> That's just normal fence. Uh, yeah, just right next to you. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Pretty easy. Wait, he just he just put that in his booty. Well, there's some rope. 
Oh, well, then let's fix it. The house isn't even that big. I mean, you look at it, it's not even that big. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Yeah, how did you do that? A bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Wait, what can I do with it? Oh, okay, I was gonna say, can I jump on it and be like, wee! Wee! <laughs> yeah, that house is not big. Let's talk to Andy. What's up, Andy? Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I know no problem. Motel, you folks are pretty well armed. <coughs> uh, how many weapons do you have? No one fucks with us. Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully, it'll never come to that, but thanks. <sighs> we can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, like trading for gas and food. Hmm. Ultimately, they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Seems a little too generic. Uh, let's go fix it. Where fence stops walking? An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit huh. out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest <laughs> thing to entertain them. Sizzle and pop. Yeah. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know, like us. I don't think it would be this easy to keep the place that safe, even with the fence. I'm sorry. Oh, good. Fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, you guys can strip them off and look for any weak points. Well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have our gun anymore. Idiots. How's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy. Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Right? What? No, you... We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's happy. As much as he's a dick he is, he probably just doesn't trust me because of my past. Ugh. Another reason to confess. Gain, every gain everyone's yeah. trust. Mm. Mm. Oh. Still a few more. 
Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a mm. fortress. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers <laughs> Useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas too. Not many drivers these days. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas. Easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. No, well, thank you, Mark. There's another one. I see it. Hmm. Oh, are you serious? So we can get Mr. Crispy off of it. I think we get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <laughs> Oh wait, I think this is where they kill him or something. Wait, are those the bandits? He didn't even have anything in his hand. Shit. Oh fuck. Okay, uh, what do I do, what do I do? Shit. Oh, fuck, 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 move, move! Yeah, come on, come on, come on! Thank you for, uh, explaining it. Come on. Wait, there's a walker? Oh, shit. Fuck, okay. We'll get two ahead. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. That is not the same walker. <laughs> but okay. Guess why don't you guys get closer and try to kill us? Instead of just saying, It was a tractor! We're trying to escape. Another one? Are you serious? Only two, and that's not the same walker! That is not the same walker. Oh, come on, again? Why does this always happen to me? Oh, okay. oh, kick! Kick, you bastard. Kick! Give you all your might. Come on! Oh, it's gnarly! Barely. Shit. Crap. Crap. Come on, come on, come on, come on! No! What? Oh, that's stupid! Let's get out of here. 
Oh shit. That was stupid, the fact that I died. That was like... What the hell? Also, I'm surprised Mark didn't die. I thought he died right there. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. Ow. with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Yeah, I feel like if you pull it out, you'd be fine. We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Oh shit, he has broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, we would have gone out there with it. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor ring. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. Agree. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. What did that make me laugh so loud? Before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys to try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. <laughs> Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Thanks, Lee. You're the best! Yeah! No wonder you're the leader of your group. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Downright insane. Oh shit. Oh ow shit, that hurt, duck. Ow shit. Oh ow shit. Ow, you kick me get bitch. Okay. Hi Clem. Oh Clem is so cute. Look at her. She's so cute. Hey, hey, lady. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. It's up to those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. No. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny, considering you didn't seem too worried about Duck back at Herschel's farm. That's in the past, Kitty. Lots happened since then. Yeah, right. <coughs> How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah. But I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I 
I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me, Ovis, right? Of course. Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clear, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Well, I want to talk, okay? I want to get to know people. I want to play the game. Hey, Claire, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Yeah, sure. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Holy shit, that's an athletic jump. <laughs> Look at Duck. He's like, mm hmm. What do you think of the dare? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You're lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going yeah, to I died. Hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Oh. Well, since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, then. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Doug. Don't pop a gasket. <laughs> I like that. Oh, Clementine, you're so cute. I love Clementine! Clementine for life! Hashtag my Clementine. I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Who just says that? No shit. You saw what they did to your butt. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then the law now tap for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save Big lots. box. Yeah. Anyway, the nutty is all hell and get mad and hungry. Uh, let's uh, yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, you we're got just it. doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Mm-hmm. Be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Oh, it's okay, Clementine. I'll be back. It doesn't seem like there's anyone here. <clears throat> Hello, it's a click of the bus, huh? You see anybody? Which rifle would you rather have, guys? A 
box empty. His or Lee's? Watch my back, Lee. I person I personally choose Lee's. Which rifle do you prefer? His or his? Leave in the comment section below, you stupid boys. <laughs> yeah. Ha ha, funny joke. I made joke. Poo poo. Made poo poo joke. A baba. Why is there a girl blanket? This camp's too small. Can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they still from us. Hmm, what's in here? Just water. Why would they cook or why would they boil water? I mean, I know that's how you make stuff, but why? Nothing. Really? Is nothing in that bottle? Empty. Ah, really? Nothing there. All right. It looks pretty new. Anybody inside? A few sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Why would there be a kid sized? Huh, just a. Uh, open can. Nothing in there. I'm assuming. Boxes. They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Why? You want a convenience store? We had the worst idea. Uh Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. I'll pass. Hmm. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Ooh, I oh, it's a flip camera. I used to have those. I had like two of them, and then I made short films. What and that is a video camera. Well, let me see that. That is dead. Though. <laughs> Good. Well, what else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful, and then get a move on. He seemed very suspicious on that. You handled that gun. I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily? I thought you were running things back there. Yeah, but uh, uh she's got the combat training. <laughs> you won't figure out our plan! So what's intent? You seemed very, like, optimistic about me searching it. Like you didn't want me to search it or something. Plus there's nothing else for me to search. It's a little bunny rabbit. It's cute. It's a little bunny rip. Whoa, whoa. What is that? Oh. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Is that Clementine's hat? It is. Oh shit. shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. <sighs> hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my mm. shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. Not for my girl. They didn't oh, shit. her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Couldn't tell me where. And I baked them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. 
Oh not shit. Here till she comes back to me. She's not coming back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. Why? You have a kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice soft arrow right through your eyeball. Wow. Goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? A little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Kill Who? Everybody. Take all the dead folks you want. What, kill the bandits? Man. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for oh. oh! That's who. I wasn't gonna just shoot her. That that was God damn it. Cause even if she shot me. You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> it's a clean shot though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we have them. Once they see this, they'll hit the message. Huh. Yeah, I wasn't just about to shoot her because, like, she she was talking a lot. She could have had information. I'm assuming a lot of other people just shot her because she sounded crazy and oh, she's a threat. But even if she's tried to shoot me or the other guy, <laughs> she's gonna die from the other guy as well. So that doesn't matter. So yeah, I'm not I'm not doing that. Soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Missing every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then. Why don't you? Well, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. <laughs> What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? How? Don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all did a little test. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee? Don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. <laughs> Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn in the castle. That woman is a lassie. She is creepy, but she's also nice. <laughs> From bathroom, bathroom. Ooh, I wasn't there before. What's in here? 
scope it out. I'll talk to Larry and Lily in a bit. Oh shit. I don't know why, but okay. It's a useful tool. I could. Ooh, I could look at the generator, but I don't want to. I don't want to. Am I going to have to see that every time I go through the gate? Let's go talk to them, and then I'll talk to Kenny and everyone else. Oh, whoa, what happened to the animation? My character looks weird. Hello. Hi, Larry. You seem friendly. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? Yeah, we did. We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy. Had a crossbow. So daddy killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn where we at least know what to expect. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. What? But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here. We don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. Well, I wanted to. I wanted to be nice to me. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. No, I, I respect that. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Yeah, but he's getting patched up. You get the feeling something going on. But they yes. say that. What exactly happened at the camp? I just... That's nothing. Now, don't worry about it. Paranoia just give me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwards people always give me creeps. If you ask oh. me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. All right. All right, let's go to the barn. See what kind of fun adventures we can have in the barn. In the barn. In the barn. Wow, it looks a lot brighter here than what it did from when the f game first came out. Oh, he's such a. He's such a cute cow. It's okay. Go ahead. Says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? They said it's called a salt room. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> Did you lick it? I don't know. Oh, the hat. Shit. Here, Clementine. 
Pat, you found it. Yes. I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Oh, she's so cute. Give your head to anyone. I love Clementine. She's so cute. Did you see any strangers around the motor who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably not. Just let me know if you ever see Hmm. I saw, I saw, I saw the faggot's eyes. He was like, hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Oh, never mind. Uh. I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. Internet, do not take that in the wrong way. Please! Please, do not take what she just said in the wrong way. Sup, Doug? It's just duty. <sighs> hmm. What is this? You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff, something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Kachi, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So I'll find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. And back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smashed the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Oh. Uh. What these? Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lot, <clears throat> right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. <laughs> oh, that is racist. What do you think you're saying? Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. I see shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly. Inside, and then we'll place it all again like nothing ever happened. All right, sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. No, now Danny's the pickle guy. Something. Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. He's a lifesaver. You got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nuts. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Huh. Distract Andy and get out of the barn. So I, okay, so I know I can't just... Oh, is that what they're trying to do? Uh, that's it. <sighs> hmm. Okay, I have a few options. Let's see. Okay, so if I go over there. If I lock it, he'll see it because he's right there. He'll keep constantly turning his head, right? I could. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Oh, Danny man. Wait. Hmm. Danny mentioned he needed something. Okay, so if I go, I if I do that, he'll go to Danny, and Danny will be like, "Oh, I didn't ask for anything." He'll be like, "Oh shit, Lee's up to something." So no, I'm not doing that. Alrighty then. I, so I'm assuming we have to go use the generator. It seems the only logical solution. 
Nah, I'm just saying. That's what I think. I could be wrong. <sighs> I am tired. <sighs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Actually, I want to go talk to Lily real quick. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that bar. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Thank you. Hey, Bella. Hello, dog, Bella. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna pick you up. <gasps> you know, munchkin. Oh, you want to pet. You want me to pet you. Well, I'm playing a game, Bella. I'm playing the game for the audience. Fuck it, let's do it. Okay, first things first. Turn it off. Uh. Hear it. What is that? It's a mark. Make good girl Bella. Oh, sorry, Predictors. I was still making a video. I know, Munchkin. I know. You're such a good girl. Oh, sweetie pie. What the hell is the graphics outside? Oh shit. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Penny, let's come eat! On, Penny, come on, don't make the children wait. Yeah. I will. What is in there? I'm very curious. I forgot what it was in there. Wasn't it like, uh, like food, supplies, or something? What? Oh, what the fuck? Something like that is. Oh shit, they're the ones that made the trap. 
Oh shit. Oh, that's creepy. Uh. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it, and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. That is a reasonable ex explanation, but I'm now... Oh, I just remembered what they do. Oh, shit. Fuck. You are right. Oh, Excuse boy. Me. We had to lock the back door after Walker got upstairs. Oh, well, that's nice to know. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't getting back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I can eat a horse. Where's Mom? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Battle's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around on the dirt all. Hmm. Wait. Wire. That was that. Those are nail marks? That doesn't look like nail marks, though. Or, I mean, it, it looks like nail marks, but that doesn't look like. Oh. Where's that wire go? What the hell? Need so much morphine, for. morphine? Isn't morphine like that chemical that they... I don't know. Hold on really quick. What is morphine? An anesthetic and narcotic drug obtained from... A PMA and use to relieve pain. Okay. I forgot if it was something else. What is this? Smart. Yeah, yeah, Busted. smart. Okay. This is yes, we needed some first aid recently. Uh yeah, dumbass Mark. What is this? I'm not plugged in. Whoa! What the hell is that? Wait! Oh, I remembered what they did. Oh! Oh no! I know. I know where he is. I know where he is. Oh no, I know where he is. No. No, no. Fuck, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. Oh god. Please don't be in here, Mark. Please, I hope I'm wrong. No! Oh my god. <gasps> what the fuck? They caught off his legs! Oh my god! Brothers. Oh, dude. Oh! Oh, fuck no. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Go, 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 go. Gun. Uh. Clementine, no! Uh -huh. 
Yes! Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. Larry, please, not the time. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just got to stop. They could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Why would I be lying? What the hell is wrong with you? Lily, please. Him, Lily. I've tr something. I'm trusting you. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. Oh shit, that's true. I never even thought about that. Yeah, yeah oh my god. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. Get an F in the chat. He had an arrow in his back. He wouldn't have died from that. He bled to death, maybe, but he could have just pulled it out and put some, you know, shit on it. Not actual shit. If you intend to kill us, we will fight back. This is the poop squad! Can he get your gun? Penny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! Fuck! Yeah, they want to kill us, so yeah, we're gonna fight back. Put your guns down! We're walking out of here! I don't want to die. Mommy! We're screwed. Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee, Lee! Don't you fucking touch her! I swear to God, I'll kill you. Oh my! You know the best part about a rifle is you can just grab, like you can lift up your arm and just grab it, but you got to be very quick. So he could easily like get rid of that, but he has a pistol or a revolver, so I'm not too. Oh dear God! Oh, give me a fucking break! Why do I get knocked out? Oh, cause I'm the leader. Oh no, no! Hmm, shit! Not the fucking locker. Oh, so you'd rather just not know that they were human? You okay, Clementine? They didn't hurt you, did they? <laughs> oh, right now, Lee. Those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. Oh, fuck. Fuck out of here. We will, Kenny. This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up. Thank you. I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Uh, door, nothing else, the vents, yeah, we can go through the vents, I'll try and look for something else, but vents are, come on, Larry, do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah, I want to attract their attention, so I can fucking kill them! Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? Back at the motor lodge. Even after I saved your fucking life. No, it wasn't. You went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. How? You must really hate me. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you go. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! I'm not your enemy, Larry. I don't believe. Don't forget, I know who you really are. I can give two shits! Could there be a hole behind these pallets? Let us out now! If you wanna live, that's not gonna help! 
with such luck. Fuck. They're not gonna open the door. Hmm. You, you take a fuck and a fuck. I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. He's had a heart attack. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. He's not breathing. If he's dead. He's not. You don't dead. die that quick, right? I mean, we shouldn't the other stuff. What are you saying? Billy, I'm sorry. I truly truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a 6 foot 4, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you. We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later, but right now we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. That man is dead. You both How do we know he's dead, though? Look, Kenny, back at the drug Just store, slap his ass cheeks. He'll probably wake up in a second. The benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. I know he was. That's because I've seen gameplay videos of the first episode. Shit. No, come on, don't make me choose. Oh, fuck. Come on. He's not. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm. No! That's not that guy I have a choice here. The game will not let me. Oh my god, this is horrible. I'm sorry, Lily. It's not. I'm sorry. Oh my god, no, no. Oh my god! Fuck, man! Oh! No! Don't you fucking touch me! Shit! I know he I know he wasn't dead. He Yes. One important thing right now. Get the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. Kasha is done. What about her? You don't think that St. John's. No. They, they need Kasha, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. Sure. That is true. Duck is valuable as a bargain. You gotta get to them. Lily's in no condition to help us rescue the family. Considering what just happened, she probably sided with St. John's against us. <sighs> there ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Well, do you have any other options? I think I can take it off. I had something to remove the screws. Of course they do. Maybe there's 
something else we could use. I've got a rock. How did you get a rock? What convenience? about about what you did for your own sake right because you fucking care so much about me i think i may have found a way out of here but i need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner if you had something i could use as a screwdriver a coin or something no what about him look i know this is a terrible time for it but uh, back at the motor inn larry larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets in other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture. A ring. My mother's. Don't worry. I'm not taking it. Yeah, one more should do it. small for us to fit through. I can do it. You uh, think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Get in here. Got an idea. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will.
What's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Stay close. Outside the bar. Oh shit! Just guarding the place like you said. People sitting out in the rain on the camp here. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Get one to keep and kill the rest. And I pick which one to keep. Not to kill. Enough meat on the tray. <laughs> oh, I know, neighbor. This is my favorite part, too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, they can look through the cracks. that woman in the woods. She was about to spill everything. You weren't ready to hear yet, Lee. Had to stop her. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. What? Thank you, Lily. Also, I was not aware that my mic was muted. I am sorry. Uh. Kenny. Kenny. The booty girl. Carly. Hi, Carly. And hi, Ben. Is everyone okay? We heard screams as we were coming up to the house. They attacked us. I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Shit. How many of them are there? Two left. Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. 
Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. <laughs> and leave. Be careful. Rocky Horror Picture Show. I never leave home without it. They killed Duck now. Brenda, I'm going to open the door. Please don't shoot her. Brenda, please don't shoot her. Stop right there. I mean okay, okay. <gasps> what? I stopped. Down. Do? Put the gun down, bitch. Like <laughs> oh, Mark, Mark. Stay back. Don't do anything stupid. Let her go, Brenda. Then don't. Please don't make this any worse. Now stop. Oh, oh there you go. Go, go, go. Oh, that ain't gonna happen. Oh my god, they shot Kenny. No! Kenny's not dead, right? No, no, he... he uh, they shot Kenny! You brought this on yourself. No, uh-uh, you did this. All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. And you offered us food that we couldn't... Res oh. Yes! If... Come on! Come on! Poop squad for life! Oh, sir, sir! Oh shit! Ow! Let go of me, you bastard! Oh god, oh god, oh god! Please, 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 please! No, no, no! You're not gonna kill me like this! You're not gonna die! I'm not gonna die! I'm not going to die! I'm not gonna die like this! Nope, she's not gonna help! He 
died? He's still alive. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. It's over. Fuck you. As soon as Dad and Mama get out of here, you, you all fuck. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. They're not coming. What do you mean? Lee? What the fuck do you mean? I mean, Mr. Dad. Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Had to. They're cannibals. They tried to kill us. I'm sorry. Okay. Who cares? We're not staying here. Let's go. I'm sorry, Clementine. Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah. Clementine almost ate some. But... I stopped her. I can't leave her alone, Carly. This fucking world now. Tied in just unspeakable shit at every turn. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Okay, I thought you were Hon, dead. Go ahead and give me and Lee a second. You're not gonna die, Kenny. You'll never die. There's gonna be fallout. <laughs> Tell me. Lily's dead. Yeah. Fallout 76. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready to roll. I want you to come with us. I mean it. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes. Yes. They were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark and they were going to kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God, no more strangers.
All right. Car. No one here. Let's see where this goes. Doesn't seem like anyone's here. Figures. Oh crap! Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Oh. What if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Oh, my God. We have to take this Clementine. You're right, we shouldn't take it. It seems a little weird that the car was just parked here. So for all I know, they could still be out there, but after the shit we just been through, we need to take it. But fuck, what if they come back? Uh, this decision will haunt me. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Who says it's your decision to make? Hey, we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. Sorry, Lily. Okay, Lily, if you wanted, you could just shoot me, okay? Sorry. It's a hoodie. Supplies? I'll pick it. More food in here. Survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. <laughs> Got a box of food here. More food? I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. We're not like the bandits, honey. We didn't hurt anybody to get this. Understand? I guess so. I'm sorry, Clem. What? We didn't leave anything behind? That seems a little too unfair. Hey, I'm sorry. There were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Oh, thanks. Here, you can have some, too. Real walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? That's sexist. <laughs> oh god. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh shit. What? What? Oh shit. What the fuck? What the f- Wait, what? You're washing us? With the bandits or- Watch the bandits. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. 
I promise. If I oh, find it, I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there, acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you've got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who took... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Making is done, pal. Ain't nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Buck was asking about the farm last night. Not much face is but starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Lily's not doing so good, huh? But we killed her dad. He did kill her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Whoa, whoa what the hell? This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, alright? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Oh, shoot. Well, Poop Deckers? We finished it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Chopped David's leg. Chopped off his leg. Interrogation shoot Jolene. Did, had Danny shoot her. For, helped kill Larry. Really? <sighs> Sorry. Revenge killed both of the St. John. Really? You let them live? Stole the food from the car. That's good. But we needed to do that to survive. <laughs> Sorry. Well, anyways, Poop Dickers, that's it. We are done with episode two. Stay tuned next week for the third episode. I'll see you, Poop Dickers, next week. Bye.